All right, all, welcome back. This is Operation Hamel with Crooked Leg here in the Kansas City War Room. We are looking at the French turn of 6.4. Um, we have several housekeeping matters to attend to. The first one that we will do is going to be a German housekeeping matter. So our gray maple here, let me zoom out and take you over to where we're at. So the first housekeeping matter is gonna be over here in Western Germany. The German player, Heinz Templar, moved the militia that was here in Western Germany into Belgium. Well, we reviewed it and unfortunately you were unable to move militia outside of home country. If it was a colonial infantry, you could. Uh, but uh, to my understanding, you can't place colonial infantry in home country. And so uh, the militia had to stay behind. So we moved that back. So you have that housekeeping matter. The next housekeeping matter we're going to discuss, we will transition over to the Austro-Hungarians. So the first matter is regarding, again, a militia. He had moved a one of his two militia that were Bulgarian from Bulgaria. He had railed it to Bosnia. Well, again, militia must remain in home country, so the militia that was in Bulgaria couldn't have been railed to Bosnia, therefore it stayed in Bulgaria. So we moved that back. The second piece of data that we had to add is the Austro-Hungarians had not had a garrison force in Macedonia for the last three turns, starting this turn as well, it would have been the fourth. Um, so what they did was they changed their placement of units and placed their colonial infantry that they bought and placed it in Macedonia instead of Thessaly. And in doing so, that gives them the ability to have a garrison force there. Uh, we went back and reviewed the prior Austro-Hungarian turns and the last three Austro-Hungarian turns, with the exception of this previous turn, they had not had a garrison force there. So as a result, the Austro-Hungarian income is reduced by $3. Um, I don't recall how much money that they have to spend. I think it's ballpark 23 now instead of 26. But um, Knights Templar knows the exact numbers, um, so we trust him to take care of that on his end. Um, the next and final piece of housekeeping is for Lorraine. So Lorraine, the units were correct. However, the Germans had thought that the fortification was destroyed when a territory is attacked. The fortification remains in the territory until it is actually captured by an opposing force. Uh, so we need to roll the two first strikes at fives for the fortification. Um, I've been instructed to take infantry as the casualties. Uh, the good news is that if we do get a hit, um, it can be applied to infantry that did not get hits on the first round that were not supported. So that is an easy fix and nothing that has to be changed there. So let's go ahead and roll for those two and then we'll get into the actual French turn. So we'll have two dice here at fives. They are normally first strikes, but again, doesn't matter because all of the unpaired infantry, I think all nine of them did not get any hits. So here we go, two at fives. So we got one hit, the other one was a seven, so it misses. So I'm gonna reduce the German infantry in, Lor not Lorraine, in Bavaria by one infantry. So I believe he's down to 11 infantry there now, instead of the 12. So, so that's fixed. The other thing I wanted to point out real quick while we're over here and we're kind of doing corrections, I only had two militia here in Picardy, so I lost both of my militia to the first strikes against the Germans earlier. I didn't have three, um, so easy fix there and that's on my side so no biggie on the uh, the german side so that that helps you dan so all right now let's get into the french turn here we did not do our mandatory offensive so we can't do any diplomacy rolls which is fine we don't really need to spend the money this round anyways because we're kind of sol on money because of our mess up last round so um we have 16 dollars to spend we are spending $3 to do the, um, 
to it to move up t um, not tanks but uh, armored units to finish because we are at stage one so that'll get us stage two stage three and final and then we're spending two dollars to upgrade both of our fighters so that'd be four dollars in total to 1916 fighters so we, we already spent the first seven so we have nine dollars left to spend we're gonna buy ourselves an infantry two trench fighters at two dollars a piece and then a militia upgrade so two four six plus three is nine plus the seven puts us at our sixteen dollars we have available to spend uh let's go ahead and do our two tech rolls so Okay, so we have two tech rolls. We will roll for, um, we'll do counter battery fire and wartime economy. So here's for counter battery fire at, I believe it's a seven or higher, but I'll go check. That's a four, so doesn't matter. No success, no success there. And wartime economy. That's a seven, so I know that's a hit. So let me go update that. So wartime economy moves to stage two for the French. And I'll go ahead and move us to completion on armored vehicles. So that is done. Um, so we can now technically buy armored cars and tanks. Of course, we're not going to do that this round. But So that's done there. We already went over buys. So let's get into our combat moves. There's only a few, few and far between. Um, our first combat move is gonna be similar. Actually, both of our combat moves will be very, very similar to what we had done last round in the winter when we realized that we had kind of shot ourselves in the foot because we couldn't do more than one attack. Um, we are going to take the transport here in M1 and he's gonna go one to M3, two to M6, three to M5. He will pick up the mountain infantry and he will drop the mountain infantry in Bosnia. And I will have the um, Dreadnought perform a coastal bombardment into Bosnia. So we'll have that, Bos that Bosnian bombardment. Hopefully we'll get lucky and that will be a first strike hit. If not, then it will resort to regular combat. Um, normally we would be subject to double casualties, but it's not gonna matter in our case because we only have one infantry class unit rolling in there into Bosnia. Um, our next combat move will be over here. And we're gonna take the seaplane out of Normandy and he's gonna go on map. So he'll attack into A21. And then of course, finally, we have a combat move similar to what we did last round, where we're gonna attack for three rounds into Togo land and hope that we'll hit those two colonial infantry. And we're gonna take the three infantry and the two cavalry from Niger and Ivory Coast and hit Togo land. So we'll have those three combat moves um, no other combat moves as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that's all we'll do. So let's zoom out of that and let's go ahead and start rolling for combat moves. So first we will do the attack into Bosnia. So we will have bombardment at a four because it's a dreadnought and then we'll have our mountain infantry attacking at a two versus the militia who will defend at a two so let's do the bombardment and then we'll roll for the two twos so we got an eight with the bombardment so that is a no success so that was unsuccessful on our end so now we will do the combat attacks so Militia to two, and attack to two with mountain infantry. I'm not going to pull them off because it's just two units. So here we go. They need twos either side to kill each other. Three and a four. So no, nothing there. And then round two. Two twelves. 
Okay, and then round three. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got lucky. We got a one, he got a six. All right, so we took Bosnia with the one lone mountain infantry. So. The lone mountain man. So. Bob, this is, uh, this, this mountain infantry is be re being renamed to the, the Bob Hatcher Mountain Brigade. So, I hope I pronounced your last name right. So that's an honor of you, sir. So, all right, we got really lucky there. So let's get a rondel for that. We're probably gonna really tick off the uh, Austro-Hungarians, but that's all right, we'll take it. So we'll get a buck for that. So let me go move the French up a dollar and move AH down. So I believe I have AH at 14 and the French will be now at 21. It might be off though. I'd have to go through and do an audit of it, but that's all right. Okay, so there's that combat move. Now we'll do the seaplane on map over in A21. So that'll be a fairly easy roll. Just one at three. Okay, here we go. One at three. And we got a 10. So no success there. So the subs live yet again. I keep taking these off. I just need to leave the, the camera over here. All right, I'm gonna go grab the units that are attacking into Togoland along with the defending units in Togoland. So. So there's no river penalties and no terrain penalties. He's got his two militia defending at two, or not militia, I'm sorry, they're colonial infantry. And then I've got my three guys over here at twos, and then the cavalry at threes. Both sides actually could get unlucky this combat, and there could be no casualties in general. So, all right. So, here's the center. Let's get into it here. So, there's no first strikes. So, we're going to roll the blue for the infantry at twos. And then the cavalry will be the threes at reds. All right. So, here's five in total. Let me back the camera up some so I can drop my dice down. This kind of a science here. I haven't quite gotten the whole system down. All right, looks like one hit with the cavalry, all the, everything else missed. So, one hit as the attacker. So now let's roll the defender. Two at twos, four and 11. So nothing there. So he's down to one colonial. We still got our regular guys. So again, we'll do Three at two and two at threes. So here we go. Oh, we didn't get one that didn't come out. There we go. So we got one hit. All the others missed. So that's our final round. So we got lucky. That was a much better than I thought it was going to go. All right. So here's the defender at a two. He got an eight. So no success. All right, so he will lose control of Togo land. We will take control of Togo land as the French. That was only two rounds of combat. Three, I believe, is the max you can do at any given turn. So that was easier. Easier done said than initially anticipated. So let's put those guys over there. Let me chip these out real quick. So we'll have three infantry and two cavalry. Okay. And then the French rondel in there to show that that's controlled. All right, so here's that. And then we'll have two cavalry and three infantry. Okay, so that's done there. Let's see. Um, I 
think that's it for combat moves. So now we need to move into non-combat. So non-combat. Oh, I need to go update income. We'll go do that real quick. So the French go up a dollar for taking Togoland. So we're at 22. I think the Germans are at 36. So I need to go down to 35. Correct me if that's wrong. Because I don't think that was worth anything down there when I lost uh, East German, or not East Germany. West German Africa. Maybe not. I could have that wrong. I'll have to check. Okay, I'm rambling on here. So those are done. Now, let's do non-combat. So, first non-combat. We are going to move. Remove this cruiser to here. He's going to hang out with the rest of that fleet there and M. Is that M8? M5. Way off. Okay, M5 and yeah, M8's over there. <laughs> All right, so that's done there. Then, over here, we are going to do some non combat. There we go. Perfect. The three. Militia are going to move to Lorraine. And then we are going to, to move the one artillery from Normandy into Picardy. So that'll make eight artillery in there. And then from the eight artillery, we're gonna split them in half. And four of them are gonna move to Lorraine. So we'll have four artillery in Lorraine and four artillery in Picardy. So there's that. Oh shoot. Okay. And then the three other, four other artillery that were still in Picardy. So we'll leave that like that. Okay. So we have that, and then we are going to move two infantry hmm. what did I buy? Yeah, we'll do two infantry are going to move from Picardy into Lorraine. A wall panel over there for the prototype of my cave wall is moving because of the the breeze in here i should have kept the door closed so so we'll add two guys to lorraine and then we're going to move these two guys into picardy we'll move both of them put that guy back We'll put one guy in Picardy. We're gonna leave the other guy behind still in Normandy. So there's just one infantry now in Normandy. And then the militia in Aquitaine is going to move to Normandy. And the militia in Normandy is gonna to move to Picardy. So now we do have one, one militia in Picardy. Need to get a task force marker. I'm running out of room here. Talk about this every round and don't do anything about it. All right, so that's that. Okay, do I have any other moves that need to take place? Yes. What we have down here, Belgium, West Congo, I think is what it is. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Belgium, West Congo, I believe, is the name of the territory. We're going to move this colonial infantry, or not colonial infantry, regular infantry, into French Equatorial Africa. So he's moved into there. 
man, do I have any other non-combat moves here before I do anything else? Let's see here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, the seaplane that went on map over here in A21. He's gonna come off map and go back to Normandy. So that's done there. Okay. I think that that's it. I think that's all that we're gonna do, truthfully. I think that covers it. So, now we will move on with, I think, placement of units, because I don't know that I need to do any of the non combat. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I think I did everything. So, yeah. All right. Um, oh, I remember what it was. So over here, the seaplane that's here in Tunisia is gonna fly one to M2, two to M1, three to Southern France, and four to Aquitaine. I think that their movement is four. It's four or five. I think it's four. So if it's four, it's going to be an Aquit in Aquitaine. If it's five, I'll actually land him in Normandy. But like I said, I don't think it matters. It probably doesn't anyways. So, okay. So that's done. So I think that's it for non-combat moves now. So let's get into the placement of units. So we have an infantry that we're going to place. He's gonna go down here to Southern France. And then we're gonna do a trench fighter in, or no, I did that wrong. The infantry is gonna to go to Normandy. Okay, we're gonna put a trench fighter in Southern France. And we're gonna put a trench fighter in, I'm running out of room. It's gonna go here in Picardy. I need to get a task force marker. And for real this time, so let's grab one of those. One of these is German, is French. Oh, don't know. I'll have to get one in a little bit. Don't have any out here. Okay, um, so we'll get that fixed here after this. And then we do have an upgrade of a militia here in Lorraine. We're gonna upgrade him to the infantry, so we'll just transfer a chip from the militia stack to the infantry stack. So that's done there. And there's, I think, nine there in total. Yeah, nine plus the one on top, so 10. All right, and then we're gonna do a disposition of forces. Okay, so um, the French will collect $22 in income. Um, so that's easy enough. We don't have to roll for anything or change anything there. We're still suffering from the lack of morale boost because we did not do the um, mandatory offensive. And now we will do a disposition of our units and what has changed. Um, so. In Lorraine, we have two militia, we have four artillery, and we have 10 infantry, and that is in Lorraine. In Picardy, we have four artillery, two 1916 fighters, one militia, one trench fighter, and then we have 11 infantry. Yes, 11 infantry. We have nothing in Paris. We have a trench fighter in Southern France. We have a seaplane in Aquitaine. We still have the dreadnought, or pre-dreadnought, excuse me, in Aquitaine in port. And then in Normandy, we have a seaplane, a militia, and two infantry in Normandy. We lost the coastal sub that was an A23 to a seaplane on map with the Germans. So that's updated. Um, in the Mediterranean, we have a transport three cruisers, two pre-dreadnoughts, and a dreadnought, all in M5. 
We have a mountain infantry here in Bosnia. We have nothing in Montenegro, which we couldn't build there anything there anyways because there's no manpower icons. Um, we have two infantry still hanging out here in Malta. And then we still have our one infantry over here in Northern Algeria, along with the colonial infantry there in Morocco. And then down here in the south, we have three infantry and two cavalry hanging out in Togoland. I don't think we lost anything, but I'm feeling like I was supposed to take something off. But I'll have to go back and look. We still have the transport there in A51. I think that's 51. Yeah, A51. And then we moved a guy down from Western Belgian Congo to French Equatorial Africa. Still have the two colonial infantry there in Chad. So that's easy enough. And then of course, over in Asia, we still have a mole, not a militia, I keep doing militia. It's a colonial infantry. Colonial infantry in Anatonkin, and then regular infantry in Cochin, China. Ignore all the yellow chips that are laying around. I gotta paint more British infantry sculpts. I haven't had a chance to do any painting the last couple days, so. All right, I believe that that does it for the French turn, guys. Um, if there's anything else that I'm forgetting or missing, um, feel free to leave a comment down in the description below. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, we collect $22, and I'm going to go ahead and pass it on over now to the um, the Ottoman Empire. And then hopefully, depending on time tonight, with constraints, we'll probably get the Russian and Italian turn up here in a couple hours. So thank you all for tuning in, and we will catch you next time.